Welcome! The purpose of this video is to show how GS1 standards can help improve inventory management by highlighting two real-world examples in the food and healthcare industries. You'll learn more details on how a foundation of GS1 standards helped set these companies up for success by creating an efficient process with their supply chain partners. To help guide our conversation, we're joined again by Emily, a GS1 U.S. employee, and Frank, a brand owner. Let's hear what they have to say. Hi, Emily. Great to see you again. I'm really interested in learning how I can improve inventory management in my organization. I was hoping you could go into detail on which GS1 standards apply for specific use cases. Do you have a few minutes to talk through any customer processes or scenarios? Sure, Frank. I'd be happy to help. Let's have a seat and I'll walk you through a couple of great examples. As a reminder, GS1 US defines inventory management as the ability for an organization to request, fulfill, or be aware of quantities of a particular product for a specific location at an appointed time, with the primary goal of ensuring there are enough goods or materials to meet demand without creating overstock or excess inventory. Thanks for the reminder. Before we get into how GS1 standards are used, can you tell me if there are any key processes or technologies that need to be in place for effective inventory management? Great question. Interoperability is truly the key element. Regardless of the technology being used, supply chain partners, marketplaces, retailers, hospitals, and operators need a language that can be commonly understood by their various internal systems to efficiently identify capture, and share information about their products, locations, and transactions. This data can then be used to help improve inventory management and address related use cases, like those we saw on the supply chain visibility wheel. And as we discussed before, up-to-date data should be shared on a frequent basis to ensure the right product quantity is being produced and transported where it is needed in the supply chain. Accurate ordering and inventory counting in the store, hospital, or restaurant is also critical to this effort. That's right. GS1 standards, identify, capture, and share, enable interoperable connections between trading partners, producing greater visibility and ultimately improved inventory management. Great. Now, which specific GS1 standards should be in place to help realize the benefits of a more accurate and transparent inventory management program? It all starts with identification. For example, trading partners can use global trade item numbers, or G10s, to identify individual products, cases, and inner packs. Global location numbers, or GLNs, to identify parties and physical locations, and serial shipping container codes, or SSCCs to identify logistics units such as pallets. Next, companies capture those identifiers directly onto the objects by using barcodes and RFID tags, also called data carriers. The identifiers can be joined by additional identifiers, like batch, lot, or serial number, and relevant item-specific data such as expiration date. Using the GS1 capture standards establishes a robust link between the actual activities of supply chains and what is recorded in software systems, like warehouse management systems. The information helps enable greater accuracy in order fulfillment and stock rotation, meaning fresh products are delivered on time. Finally, with identification and capture in place, companies can benefit from sharing data between trading partners with GS1 standards. Communicating with standards is necessary for interoperability, which not only helps meet regulatory demands, but enables a greater level of visibility to drive inventory management accuracy. This helps companies be more resilient by reacting and adapting quickly to changes in supply and demand. This is also fascinating. Do you have any real-world examples of companies that have adopted this level of GS1 standards and improved their inventory management as a result? Of course I do. What do you prefer? Food or healthcare? Independent Purchasing Cooperative, IPC Subway, built their supply chain on a foundation of GS1 standards, which has allowed them to more easily enable end-to-end -end visibility for faster, more accurate, and improved inventory management. 
Manufacturer and distribution partners identify products with G10s, have the ability to capture date lot information by scanning GS1-128 barcodes, and share product data via GDSN which contains vital information such as active G10s and pack sizes. Additionally, plants, warehouses, distribution centers, restaurants, and all other supply chain locations are uniquely identified with GLNs. Using the foundation of standardized product and location data, restaurants can more easily create accurate orders, help eliminate manual data entry and review, and focus on customer service. IPC estimates that labor efficiencies alone exceed $70 million each year in cost avoidance in North America. A key finding from the IPC subway case study notes that the North American subway network leveraged an inventory management application based on GS1 standards to transform a time-consuming weekly process into a more accurate automated system that only takes minutes. The hospital customers of Fresenius Copy were experiencing challenges from manually labeling individual drug vials for proper identification. By tagging the vials with G10 encoded RFID tags at the manufacturer, Fresenius Copy simplified the regulatory compliance process while also enabling enhanced inventory management. As noted in the Fresenius Copy case study, hospitals can achieve more precise inventory management with the ability to read many RFID tags in one scan. This could lead to better drug management overall and improve charge capture in hospital settings where barcode scanning is not conducive to the workflow. As stated by Angie Lindsay, Vice President of Marketing at Fresenius Copy, our responsibility as a healthcare company does not end at the hospital's loading dock. By including RFID technology in the label of our medications, we are helping our customers manage their drug inventory with more precision and accuracy, tracking the medication all the way to the patient. Frank, I hope these examples help demonstrate the foundational role that GS1 standards play in enabling greater supply chain visibility. The application of barcodes, RFID tags, sharing data following standards, and globally unique identification enables the critical interoperability needed between trading partners. Visibility among trading partners can yield improved data accuracy, operational efficiencies, and consumer safety, as well as other benefits, such as maintaining first-in, first-out, or FIFO methodology improving inventory accuracy and operational efficiencies, gathering insights on product availability and location, avoiding waste and ensuring freshness. Thanks, Emily. I now have a much better understanding of how GS1 standards help improve inventory management by providing better visibility throughout the supply chain. The examples really helped me pull it all together and connect the dots on what we should do next. Where can I read all the details on these case studies? Happy to help! Here are the links to download the full case studies. This is great. Thanks, Emily. Of course, Frank. We are always happy to help. If you are interested in learning more, please click here to view the GS1 Standards for Food Traceability Online Certificate course in our LMS system, view the Supply Chain Visibility website, or check out our first inventory management microlearning that provides an overview of GS1 standards used to improve supply chain visibility. For additional support, please reach out to our support team at info at gs1us.org.